I started from village and um, the started from the uh, city and now uh, I am very happy because in the world wide I every every um, the uh, music lover lover uh, like my music style tell me about Nusrat Fatah Ali Khan's position in this tradition well, Nusrat Fatih Ali Khan is a, a hereditary musician. His family goes back six, seven hundred years in the Qawwali uh, style of singing. Um, he himself has attained a kind of individual superstar status, the, the Pavarotti of, of Qawwali, if you like. <laughs> became um, a musician due to a recurring dream, a vision that he had. Would you tell me that dream? He first dreamed of 10 days after his dad's death. So he, he saw himself singing in the tomb of uh, our Sufi saint, Bayamunad in Chishti in India. Mm. He was singing at his grave. And his, his uh, dad was listening while he was singing. So that's what he saw in his dream. So then he started. Kavali is um, a, a form of uh, devotional music uh, for Muslims uh, in North India and Pakistan. Uh, in the most simple terms, there's a very slow, free introduction uh, by the soloist uh, of a group of musicians. <laughs> and then after a while, uh, a rhythm is established and the soloist will then sing verses uh, verses of poetry that have some kind of mystical or spiritual quality <laughs> A group of uh, supporters, uh, musicians called a Qawwali party, will sit behind him and uh, they will reiterate in chorus fashion certain key elements of the text that he's singing. They'll clap to reinforce the very vigorous rhythms of the drums. <laughs> If they see some response in the audience, they will uh, direct their musical efforts towards that uh, component that aroused the response in the audience. And the aim is to send uh, members of the audience into trance. Why do people shower him with money during the performances? I'm sure a lot of Western artists would like to get into this tradition. Yeah, I bet. In the devotional uh, shrine setting, uh, people are giving money to the sheikh, the, the leader, the spiritual leader, who then uh, officially sanctions that as a payment to the musicians. But there's no intermediary, there's no sheikh in the concert hall. And because Nusrat Fatih Ali Khan is such a strong personality in himself, the tendency is for those people who want to replicate something of the offering to go directly to him. <laughs> Have you ever seen a Western member of the audience go into a trance? Have you ever seen a Western member of the audience go into a trance? 
Oh, uh, the yeah, he has seen it. Uh, but forget about him. <coughs> Beyond his answer, I saw you, you were... If he would have been going in, you were going in the trunks. That's my... The last well, part was from well, me. Well, the, the trance that I was in is something that we call grooving. <laughs> Obviously, there's a lot of Western interest in, in Kowali music. You worked with uh, Michael Brooks and Peter Gabriel and, and even with uh, Bali Sagu. So there is Western interest not, in... Uh, not Kowali. But that's not Kowali? That's not Kowali. Why is that not Kowali? Because it's not type of Kowali. It's different music. A new experience. A new experience. <laughs> Our music is like a bridge for every nation, for every man who is believe on the God. Yes. Thank you. 